Last Saturday, Prime Minister Anthony Albanese met with billionaire Bill Gates at Kirribilli House to talk about opportunities for Bill Gates' vaccine lobbying, software, agriculture and energy interests here in Australia. The meeting came as Bill Gates spent another $10 billion buying new stock in Microsoft. Perhaps they talked about the use of Microsoft products to run Australian Parliament House secure email and data storage systems. Maybe. They did talk about the Albanese government's decision to give yet another $230 million to the Gates-founded Global Health, bringing Australia's total contribution to just under a billion dollars. This is not the first time, though, that Prime Minister has found time to meet with billionaires. Just two weeks ago, Anthony Albanese met for six hours with billionaire Lindsay Fox in Fox's upmarket Portsea mansion, arriving from Geelong in Lindsay Fox's own helicopter. What deals were done there? One can only wonder. Anthony Albanese, it seems, has all the time in the world to meet with billionaires, yet only caves to meeting the residents of strife torn Alice Springs after days of a relentless national media coverage. Remember that it was the Anthony Albanese government that lifted the ban on alcohol in Aboriginal communities. Now, just months later, we're seeing why that ban was needed in the first place. The government was warned this would happen at the time. And only a month after the ban was lifted, the Daily Mail reported on the rising violence in Aboriginal communities. These children are on the streets instead of at home because of domestic violence and sexual abuse. Anthony Albanese has tried to run away from a problem that he caused. Prime Minister, get your ass to Alice Springs and take Linda Burney with you. It's about time she met with real Aboriginals. How about you actually do something instead of virtue signalling about the voice to Parliament? Sort your mess out. Authorised Malcolm Roberts, Brisbane.